for the past few years. The construction industry has been developing very rapidly across the globe. There is not a single building in the world that does not have an impact on the environment. A great number of aspects in the building procedure can help reduce the negative environmental impact of these buildings. These aspects come under the philosophy of sustainable design, which aims at ensuring maximum well-being of the planet. Location and transportation. Locating a building on a green farmland has an effect on the environment. Higher costs of infrastructural developments due to remote location. Approximately 50% greenhouse gas emissions are produced due to transportation to and from the building during construction and operations of the total GHG emissions into the environment. Sustainable sites. Designing the construction of building on maximum plot area, in other words, built through the plot, covering the non-development area with concrete and asphalt, and thus increasing the rainwater runoff and increase in temperature due to heat island effect. Water efficiency. The use of ineffective water fixtures which increases the use of indoor and outdoor water. 1.6 billion gallons of water are wasted in the U.S. every year because of inefficient water fixtures. One leaky faucet, leaking at a rate of 60 drips per minute, wastes over 2,000 gallons of water annually. Energy and atmosphere. 72% of electricity consumed by the buildings during construction and operations, which is being produced by the burning of fossil fuels, contributes to greenhouse gas emissions and depletion of ozone layer. This also contributes to one of the most pressing issues of the 21st century, global warming. Materials and resources. 136 million tons of construction and demolition debris was generated in the US, which increased the demand of virgin resources. The waste and debris produced are then sent to the landfill, which contributes to the production of greenhouse gases and methane gas. This also impacts the environment and contributes to the depletion of ozone layer and global warming. Indoor environmental quality. Another neglected aspect in conventional commercial construction is indoor environment quality for the occupants. Polluted indoor air can be harmful for the occupant's health. Sources of indoor air pollution include natural sources, building materials, products, and occupant activities. Health effects from indoor air pollution range from immediate to long-term and treatable to severely debilitating or fatal diseases. Why LEED? LEED certified buildings are healthier, more efficient, and environment friendly. This allows energy and resource savings and leads to increased building value higher lease rates and decreased utility costs. Leaders across the globe have made LEED the most widely used green building rating system in the world, with 1.85 million square feet of construction space being certified every day. LEED certification provides independent verification of a building, allowing for the design, construction, operations, and maintenance of resource efficient, high-performing, healthy, and cost-effective buildings. Location and Transportation LEED promotes locating a building in a dense urban area to reduce the GHG emissions by minimizing the transportation to and from the building. It focuses on the protection of green farmland and their associated habitat and endangered species by avoiding construction on green land. Through the building location in a dense urban area, the infrastructural development costs and the associated environmental impacts can also be reduced. Sustainable Sites LEED focuses on constructing the building vertical rather than horizontal, which in turn provides the open space which protects habitat, increased use of pervious surface, which in turn recharge the underground aquifer, reduces the rainwater runoff and heat island effect. Water Efficiency Use water efficient fixtures inside the building to conserve water, as it is a scarce resource Water is a permanent need of human and animal for their existence on the planet. We can harvest rainwater and use it for irrigation, which in turn reduces the demands on water aquifers as well as help reduce the heat island effect. Energy and Atmosphere LEED focuses on efficiency-first approach for energy consumption in the buildings, then tries to reduce the usage. It aims to get maximum daylight by orientation of the building to reduce energy consumption. 
It emphasizes on the use of renewable energy system to minimize the environmental impact of conventional electricity producing methods, emitting carbon dioxide, which is the leading global warming pollutant. Materials and Resources LEED focuses on reduce, reuse, and recycle methodology to minimize the impact of debris produced due to building construction. By reuse material and recycle methodology, we can minimize the demand on virgin resources. Indoor environmental quality. LEED focuses on improving indoor air quality to reduce human health risks by reducing exposure to indoor air contaminants. This can be achieved by specifying less harmful and low emitting materials, protecting building materials during construction, scheduling construction activities in occupied buildings to minimize occupant exposure. Isolate areas of work to prevent contamination of clean or occupied spaces. Ventilating the space to remove air contaminants before occupancy. Why ASA? Today, with the evolving market, ASA is quite keen to educate its clientele about the sustainable and green building system. Lead. We at ASA believe that as architects, it is our responsibility to protect the planet and minimize the impacts of construction on the environment. We in turn at ASA have developed an efficient team of LEED accredited professionals who are furthering this vision of protecting the planet into their designs and providing the client with healthy, efficient and environment friendly designs. Currently at ASA, with the highest number of LEED accredited professionals, in the country, we are offering lead consultancy expertise in sustainable design of building designs, plus construction, BD plus C, and interior design plus construction, ID plus C. Our sustainable design unit team is dedicated to identifying and establishing the best design strategies and materials that are available in the local market to create efficient, healthy, and environment-friendly designs. What we value the most at ASA is giving our clients a project of great worth and a sense of satisfaction.